Just three ways to edit your pictures into black and white using On One Photo Raw. I'm going to show you all three. There's three ways of processing your black and white on On One Photo Raw. I'm going to show you all three, but one is definitely more powerful than the other two. Uh, so first, I'm going to show you the way to do it in the develop module. Now, really simple. It's show more black and white. Now, this black and white, uh, you do have some adjustments here, but I'm not going to go into it because I also cover this on the third way of doing things. So the second way is black and white preset. So clicking on the preset on the left hand side brings you all these choices. If you want to have a bigger view, click the icon here. So now you can pick which picture you really, really like. And these are just all presets. You can make your own presets and load them up here for you to, to pick. So let's say we've gone for Bogot Neutral. Now, it's obviously laid a, a vignette on this and, and done some other things as well. Now, if you want to have some more control than that, this is the way I recommend you do it. The Effects module. Now, the Effects module if we add a filter and go black and white. So you'll recognize this little panel here uh, from the first way I showed you. It's very simple to use. Starting from the top, the opacity. This is a simple opacity of the whole black and white. You then have a selection of styles here and some more in here as well. Now, what you want to do is control it yourself. And the way you do that is, let's say we want to change the color of the C. So we pick the C color and simply use the slider and we can change the tone. We can do the same with the grass. Now the grass is greeny yellowy. Um, let's say we adjust the green and you can see some of the darker shades come, but it's also affecting quite a bit of the C. The yellow is affecting a lot more of the grass and the sand as well. So that's just a quick way of adjusting the tones. Now, if you want to be a little bit more precise, you can pick the icon, which is, I believe, uh, looks like a little pipette. All you need to do is click on the area that you want to adjust. So let's say the grassy area here. Left click and hold and just pull left and right to adjust. Now, if you look at the panel on the right-hand side, it's actually moving the yellow slider. If we pick, let's say, the area of the C, it's now moving the aqua color. And adjusting the, the amount by how far I slide the mouse left to right. Now, the next section is tone. Now, this is overall tone. So you can brighten the image, contrast, highlights, etc. But they're all to hand, they're all here. You don't have to go hunting for them. And the same with the toner. So we can tone the picture. You can adjust it yourself. And add different tones. Or use the customs. Now, there are some really good customs in here and I have used them. And the last section is the film grain. So we have presets, Ilford, Kodak, all, all the main ones. And you have also the ability to adjust it yourself. So you're not finished yet, because at the top we have a layer mask. You can use all the tools that are open to the layer mask. So simple, let's uh, there we go. paint this guy in. And it's a very, very rough because it caught half, caught half of the uh, land there. So just take that back out. It's a very rough. But you can see we can paint in. You can simply invert that so the sky is black and white and the rest is colour. So you use this to style your own photograph. So you still have the ability to use the other mask tools as well. So this is just a straightforward gradient. Uh, layer mask and it works as well and with this you can use all the tools that the layer mask has to offer 
you still not finished having control of this picture because you can add a filter. Now you can add any of these and stack them. Let's just say vignette, for instance, and you can adjust a vignette, however you, you like it, and it just simply adds it to the stack. And you can keep adding if you want to, if you want to add a bit of sharpening, let's say, that's fine. There we go. Just for the sheer control, I'd recommend using the effects because everything's to hand. It's nice and simple to use. And on one raw is quick. So yeah, I definitely recommend using the effects to process your black and whites. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe.